Hey, welcome back. We've been talking through some crucial ideas in our physics unit, in the beginning of our physics unit, and today I need to talk about a really important difference between two common words that we use in the English language but screw up all of the time. And so students have a huge misconception about this. The idea that weight and mass are the same thing, and they are absolutely not the same thing. This is a problem that crops up almost the entire year throughout the year in a physics course, so it's really crucial to get this idea correct now, so that later you're not going to make mistakes with this. This is not a tough lesson here. In any case, let's get to it. So, in everyday speech, we're talking about weight as if it is the same thing as mass, but they are significantly different. So, it's really crucial to learn the difference here. We're going to say that weight is a force which is also and more commonly talked about as the force due to gravity, so the pull from the Earth in an object measured in newtons. That's what we mean by weight, whereas mass is a measurement of the amount of inertia something has, and that's measured in grams or, more commonly, kilograms in a physics class. All right, so how do you calculate weight? Well, let's start with the general force equation. So that would be the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. Well, let's go ahead and take that because we know that weight is a force. Let's go ahead and take that general force equation and modify it for the specific weight equation. And we'll just call it Fg off to the left. And we're going to change out that acceleration for a lowercase g. That lowercase g stands for the acceleration due to gravity here on Earth. It's 9.81 meters per second squared. And that's because the radius of the Earth and the mass of the Earth and the attraction to an object. I'll show you where that g value comes from later in the course in terms of calculating it. But for now, we're going to say, well, I know what that is on or near the surface of the Earth. It's going to be 9.81 meters per second squared. I should mention this is an alternative version of this equation that you may see from time to time, just subbing out capital W for the force due to gravity. Although that is not as common, I would say that this is the most important equation to work with with weight. This topic is not tough. You just have to make sure that you know the difference. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem here. So what is the weight of a high school student with a mass of 61.2 kilograms? So think about how you would set up this problem and think about mentally what you would write on a piece of paper. Okay, and so hopefully you're able to come up with the idea that we start by writing down that equation, the force due to gravity equation, and what we're going to do is just plug in our values and we end up solving and it turns out to be 600 newtons. That is the weight of this student in terms of newtons. Now notice kilograms and newtons are not the same thing. In fact, mass goes into the calculation for the force due to gravity, so they are definitely not the same thing. I also want to say that we're going to write this as a positive value, like normally people talk about their own weight as a positive value as well, but when you write this on a free body diagram, you're going to have it pointing in the downward direction. Typically, that's going to be the negative direction, and so typically when we do calculations with the overall forces on a person, we would make that eventually a negative, but we're not there yet. We're just talking about how you would calculate the force due to gravity for a student with an example problem. All right, one last thing I need to talk about before we move on, and that is something that comes up in problems from time to time, and it addresses this idea if you really know the difference between weight and mass. And the question that I have is, would this student have the same mass on the moon as on the Earth? And the answer is, yeah, she would have the same mass she would have the same amount of stuff that makes up her body, so to speak. Or if you want to be a little more technical, you could say she would still have the same amount of resistance to acceleration, or she would have the same amount of inertia. So yes, she would still have the same amount of mass. The follow-up question, of course, is going to be, would she have the same weight on the moon and the earth, the same force due to gravity? What do you think? And the answer is no, she would not. And the reason for that is this g value will be different on the moon as it is on the Earth. So this comes from the radius of the Earth and the mass of the Earth and so on. If she was on the Moon as an astronaut, then she would have a different g value on the Moon. And if you can understand the distinction between those two questions and their answers, then you get the main idea of the difference between mass and weight, or mass and the force due to gravity. So hopefully this has been helpful. I'm going to be continuing to talk about crucial ideas you need to understand for a physics forces unit. If you have any comments, please throw them down below. And I hope you have a great day.